Ever wonder if human beings could really survive a trip to Mars and back? Well today we're going to look at one fatal problem astronauts face in space travel to see if this idea exploration to Mars or other planets can really be achieved. Welcome back to Not So Techie, your go-to channel for breaking down the latest and greatest in technology so everyone can understand. Today, we're diving into something out of this world, literally. Have you ever wondered what happens to our bodies during space travel? More specifically, how space travel affects our kidneys. Well, we've got some mind-blowing insights for you today. Before we blast off, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you never miss out on our future tech updates. Ready for liftoff? Let's get started. Journey to space currently, the farthest distance traveled by any person is to the moon, approximately 250,000 miles away from Earth. While 12 individuals have walked on the surface of the moon, expanding the limits of human exploration, three others have journeyed even farther. Remember the Apollo 13 mission? Jim Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes didn't land on the moon as planned. Instead, they used the moon's gravity to return to Earth after circling the far side of the moon in their damaged spacecraft, covering a total distance of 248,655 miles from Earth. This is the farthest point anyone has reached. But in the future, humans might surpass this record by heading to Mars and beyond. But there's a significant issue at hand. According to a recent study, it's possible for Mars astronauts to suffer kidney failure during the journey back to Earth. The Kidney Challenge scientists worldwide have discovered that a round trip to Mars lasting two years could lead to fatal kidney damage for the passengers. Back in the 1970s, after the first human mission beyond Earth's magnetic field, scientists started noticing health issues like decreased bone density, cardiac and vision impairment, and the formation of kidney stones. Space radiation, like solar winds from the sun and galactic cosmic radiation, GCR, from deep space, is thought to be the reason for these health problems. Liquid iron and nickel moving in the outer core of the Earth creates a magnetic field that protects the planet from charged particles in solar winds and cosmic rays. This way Earth's magnetic field protects us from these charged particles, but out in space, there's no such shield. No research had been conducted on the potential impacts on the kidneys and other organs during prolonged space travel outside of Earth's magnetic field, until now. New study by UCL in a groundbreaking study funded by Wellcome, St. Peter's Trust, and Kidney Research UK, Cruck, a team of researchers led by University College London, UCL, from over 40 institutions across five continents conducted a wide range of experiments and analyses to investigate how the kidneys respond to space travel. This involved examining biomolecular, physiological, and anatomical factors using information and specimens collected from 20 different research groups. Samples were collected from over 40 space missions to low Earth orbit, LEO, which involved both humans and mice. Most of these missions took place at the International Space Station. Additionally, there were 11 space simulations with mice and rats to study the effects of galactic cosmic rays. Seven simulations were performed on mice to study the effects of simulated doses of galactic cosmic rays. These doses were equivalent to the levels that astronauts would be exposed to during 1.5-year and 2.5-year Mars missions. This allowed researchers to replicate the conditions of space travel beyond Earth's magnetic field. Are you ready to see what they discovered? Keep watching. Kidneys in space, the findings of the study revealed that the conditions in space impact the function of certain kidney tubules responsible for maintaining calcium and salt balance in both humans and animals. These tubules exhibited shrinkage in less than a month in space. It is believed that microgravity, rather than galactic cosmic radiation, GCR, is the main reason for these changes. However, more research is needed to study if the combination of microgravity and GCR can accelerate or worsen these structural changes. Formation of kidney stones previously, it was believed that kidney stones form in space primarily due to increased calcium excretion caused by microgravity, leading to an excess of calcium in the urine. However, the UCL team found that the way kidneys process salt changes a lot during space travel, which could be a main reason for developing kidney stones. One of the most concerning findings is that the kidneys of mice exposed to radiation levels similar to those experienced in space for 2.5 years suffered irreversible damage and decreased function. This raises significant concerns for astronauts who are planning to undertake long missions to Mars. Dr. Keith Sue, the main researcher of the study at the London Tubular Center in the UCL Department of Renal Medicine, stated that although we know astronauts experience health problems like kidney stones during short space missions, 
we still don't fully understand the causes of these problems or what might happen to astronauts during longer missions like the upcoming trip to Mars. Mars mission, what's next? In this situation, without advancements in kidney protection, an astronaut traveling to Mars may need dialysis on the trip back. Kidneys respond slowly to radiation damage and by the time symptoms show up, it might be too late to avoid failure, which could be disastrous for the mission. The authors state that it is crucial to identify the challenges of a Mars mission before finding solutions. Professor Stephen B. Walsh, the lead author of the study from the London Tubular Center, UCL Department of Renal Medicine, emphasized the importance of kidneys in space missions. Advancements in renal biology might lead to solutions that can support long-term space travel, even though shielding cannot protect from radiation. Future solutions, the good news? People around the world are working together to develop new ways to protect astronauts in space, predict space weather, and create medicines to keep space travelers safe. Another benefit of these efforts is that medications developed for astronauts may also be useful on Earth. For instance, they could potentially enhance the kidney resilience of cancer patients undergoing radiation therapy, something that is currently limited by kidney function. Wow, what an incredible journey into the future of space travel and health. The impact of space travel on kidney function is truly fascinating and concerning. If you enjoyed learning about this advanced technology and its implications, please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and remember to subscribe to Not So Techie for more exciting tech updates. Let us know in the comments what you think about these groundbreaking discoveries. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of technology. See you soon.